Hey everyone, and welcome to this very first episode of a new YouTube series that I'll be doing on this channel. So recently I started in a new rollercoaster tycoon to Mega Park, which is pretty highly detailed, uh, kind of themed like a Disney type of park or resort even. And I figured why not actually show you guys what I'm doing and take you guys along for the journey. So here we go. Welcome to Magic Towers Resort. <laughs> So before we get started, let's actually have a look at what I've built already. Um, because I sadly wasn't able to film this because I came up with the idea to uh, make a series out of this a little bit later. So let's actually have a uh, look at what I've already done so far. Um, so right over here we have a little entrance plaza. Um, this is still very unfinished and it's probably going to change up quite a bit. I just got a little ticket booth over here and the entrance gates of, uh, at which the, uh, the tickets will be scanned and checked as well. After that, we obviously get into a little Main Street area. So this park is going to be pretty highly themed, like a Disney type of park, like I said before. Or even a Universal uh, type park. So there will be a lot of focus on theming and that sort of stuff. Which is why I want to get a, um, a, a pretty detailed Main Street in here that has a lot of space for different shops and stores and restaurants and whatnot. Uh, so the guests can actually enjoy that as well. So... Moving on, we uh, get the first view of the park. So as the people are walking out of the main street, the first thing they'll be greeted with is uh, the icon of the park, the weenie for the park, if you will. And that is these two giant uh, towers over here, which are connected by a little bridge in the center. So this building actually houses a little ride, one observation tower and one drop tower. They are both the free launch, um, uh, wait, no. The launch free fall rides with the rotor drop free vehicles because I think that looks pretty well. Um, so yeah, that will be the view that the guests will be seeing as they enter the park. And from there they will be able to look around and see all the different areas that they can find at this park. So this will very much be a hub and spoke type of design. So at the center there's a hub from which different spokes will come off into, uh, into different themed areas. So that is what we'll be working on in the future episodes as well. And it will be very much uh, a bit of a uh, fantasy kind of theme um, throughout the entire park. Um, so a little bit of a historical type of areas, um, some very geographical areas based on different cultures, but always with a bit of a fantastical twist to it to kind of give it this, uh, this fantasy feel. So moving on. Um, we have a little merry-go-round over here just to kind of, you know, make that the first ride that you might come across as you're walking through the park. Um, it really adds to the atmospheric feeling of this waterfront area um, that I'll continue working on in this episode as well. Um, the overall Main Street area has a bit of, uh, or at least I'm trying to create a bit of a Mediterranean type area. European slash Mediterranean. Um, you can kind of see this in The Witcher, the Blood and Wine DLC has a little city, it's called Toussaint, I believe. Um, it's very colorful, very European slash uh, Mediterranean looking, and that's kind of the feeling that I'm going for as, as well over here. We have a little restaurant over here that is, um, even though it's, it's quite open, it will feel pretty secluded. Um, some other little details for the backstage area as well, as that will be something that I would like to focus on as well. So really thinking about the realism of this park how it's laid out, what the infrastructure is around the park as well, and things like that. So, if we zoom out a bit, you can actually see that this park is already quite filled up with a lot of vegetation. Um, you saw that in the intro uh, section as well. I actually made a little scenario for this park before I started, um, just to kind of have a backdrop uh, to work with. And also some challenges that we might come across. So, for instance... Some of the land dips up or down in some places. So it might be fun to kind of have to work around that. Um, which would be something that you might want to have to think about in real life as well. So I'm really trying to uh, keep the realism in there by actually giving us a location to work with. Uh, a pretty empty location. I don't think you could find anywhere in the world anymore that is so empty with perfectly buildable space. Um, <laughs> but that's what we're going uh, for right now. Let's just imagine that we're a Walt Disney and we just bought a whole lot of land and we can just do whatever we want with it. So um, next to the park, we'll probably also be building some hotels and maybe a water park and also like a parking lot structure because as I said, I also really care about the infrastructure of the park and that's also something that I would like to talk about 
as I'm building this park. Um, maybe I could teach you guys some things about theme park design or ride design. And maybe you guys can teach me some stuff as well in the comments. So this park won't be the most roller coaster focused park. It won't be uh, a park with a uh, hundred different coasters. Uh, instead, we'll really be focusing on the theming and things like dark rides and occasionally a roller coaster as well. But we'll always make sure that it fits the team properly, you know. Anyways, with all of that out of the way, I think it might be about time to uh, get building again. All right, let's start the time lapse. All right, so that section actually ended up being a little bit longer than I would have liked it to be. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, that also means that we'll be doing about five minutes of time lapse for now, and then in the next episode, we'll be focusing a lot more on the time lapse. So, with that out of the way, let's actually talk about what I'm doing in the time lapse right now. So, I'm finishing up this little restaurant that you see here. Um, I was actually looking at some uh, some reference images that show a very picturesque kind of Italian. Uh, type of restaurant uh, that's kind of set in this little alleyway and I was kind of trying to recreate this feeling uh, by making it um, even though it's in a pretty open area I'm actually feeling it more enclosed by having the trees there and also the, the, the plants going over top of uh, the seating area of course we need to uh, need to close that area off a little bit more and that's really the purpose of this building right here um, so I'll actually be continuing this waterfront just a little bit further, maybe like uh, two more buildings I think I ended up with in the end. Um, just to kind of make it feel like a nice little area that you walk uh, out of uh, once you've left the main street. This also makes it pretty nice to look at uh, when you're somewhere else in the park looking back at the main street area. So a big inspiration for this uh, park as a whole I think, but especially this area. Uh, will be Disney Sea. So if you don't know about this, definitely look it up. Disney Sea is a, one of the most beautiful theme parks I have ever seen. Um, some friends of mine who have been there also say that it is definitely the most beautiful park they've ever been at and they've visited a lot of theme parks. Um, so I definitely take their word for it. Uh, what they do is their entrance area is actually Mediterranean themed. Um, so when you walk in, you're actually greeted with this grandiose view of all the different areas that they have in the park. With at the center of the park actually a volcano that every now and then actually spews some fire, fire with sound effects and smoke and everything. That's kind of the feeling that I wanted for this park as well. So as you walk out of the main street, your first, you kind of start to see this tower and as you get closer and closer, the view really opens up and you just see this giant tower in the center with on every single side of um, this tower, uh, all kinds of different themed areas. And as I'm saying this, I'm moving my hands like crazy, even though you guys can't even see it. Um, but that's kind of the feeling that I was going for. And that's actually um, a drawing that I made as well, that this entire area is based on as well. I actually found out here that the, um, that the waterfront, uh, a little part of it, was off-center. Um, I'm not going to keep everything symmetrical, but I figured this waterfront area would have to be. So, uh, continuing on with the backstage area here, I'm going to add some more detailing to it later. Uh, but first, we build a little corner building. This building really doesn't have a purpose, but it's just there to, you know, say that this is going to be the end of this waterfront area. And after this, we are going to be moving on to a new area. So these little in-between sections are also pretty great for some backstage access, uh, which I'll probably be adding in a second just about now. Uh, after I've finished up some more of the theming here. So again, some extra garage doors because there are probably some large stores and also the, the restaurants that I was talking about, um, which need supplies every day. So it might be nice for a truck to actually come up there and drop off their supplies. Uh, I added some skylights to the top of the, um, of the backstage, uh, of the Main Street buildings. Um, I could imagine like maybe a restaurant being inside of there, uh, kind of recreating these kind of alleyways that you see in Italy. Um, but in an indoor area, so while it's nighttime, it might be nice to have the moon actually shining into the building to uh, give a very atmospheric feel to it. So we're actually getting to the end here. Um, here I'm just kind of drawing out what I'm, what I have in mind right now. Uh, we need some transportation to get around and a parking lot as well. Um, 
but I'll be thinking about that more in the future. I just want to get that out of the way for now, just so I have my ideas written down. Anyways, that's it for this very first episode and this uh, first time lapse section. Trust me, in the next episode there will be um, a lot less me live talking and a bit more uh, actually building. Um, so as I said in the in the previous section, I am going to be working on that first themed area there with a roller coaster in it as well. We will be finishing that in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, let me know in the comments what you like to see me do differently or if you have any feedback uh, or things that you would like to see in the park as well just let me know uh, because i would like to uh, do this with you guys together as well and um, this isn't my first youtube video but this is the first time that i'm kind of trying to talk like this um, so let me know what you think and then i can improve it in the future as well anyways thank you very much for watching i hope you had a good time and um, stay safe stay home and see you in the next one ciao ciao